Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. Well, welcome to Headlines Across Africa for today, 19th February 2024. I am Mary Ijapoma In the headlines, Senegal's president says election will be as soon as possible after court over 10th delay. ICJ rejects South Africa's request for urgent measures, says Israel is bound to comply with existing measures to avoid genocide against Palestine. And a boost for Kenya tea exporters as Tanzania reverses decision to suspend imports of tea. Senegal's government says the country will hold a presidential election as soon as possible, given that the country's top election authority has overturned a decree by President Macky Sall to postpone the vote. Citing a resolved dispute over who could run, Sall in early February sought to postpone the February 25 election. However, the country's constitutional council ruled that those moves were unconstitutional and ordered the government to hold the election as soon as possible, presumably allowing enough time for campaigning. In a statement, presidential spokesperson Yoo Dia says President Sal intends to ensure full compliance with the council decision and hold the elections as soon as possible. The International Court of Justice (ICJ) has rejected South Africa's urgent request for additional emergency measures to safeguard the Gaza city of Rafah, protecting the rights of Palestinians amid Israel's plans for a campaign in the city, saying Israel remains bound to fully comply with its obligations under the Genocide Convention and with the said order, including by ensuring the safety and security of the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Israel had earlier urged the court to dismiss South Africa's urgent request, saying it was trying to deny Israel the fundamental right to defend itself. According to Israel, it does all it can to spare civilians and is only targeting Hamas terrorists. The ICJ in a statement says the perilous situation in Rafah demands immediate and effective implementation of the provisional measures indicated by the court in its order of 26th January 2024, which are applicable throughout the Gaza Strip, including in Rafah, and does not demand the implication of additional provisional measures. Tanzania has reversed its decision to suspend imports of tea, presenting an opening for Kenyan traders to resume exports to the neighboring country. In a memo, the Tea Board of Tanzania, the regulator of the country's tea sector, says it will resume issuing import licenses to tea processors, blenders, packers, and traders. The memo states, in quote, This is to inform you that the issuance of import permits will resume with effect from February 19, 2024. With this resumption, you are all reminded to observe all terms and conditions as stipulated in the Tea Act and regulations before and after importation to ensure that you conduct fair business and the tea reaches the final consumers in the quality that meets domestic and international standards. And that is how we wrap up headlines across Africa for today, 19th February 2024. We'll come your way tomorrow with more news right here on Africa Global Radio. I am Mary. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com, on Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio, on Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.